More than one month after the onset of violence in southern Kyrgyzstan, up to half a million people remain internally displaced in that country. Photographer William Daniels recently returned from a two-week trip to southern Kyrgyzstan, where he documented the humanitarian situation there. Well, it was something very uh, moving for me to cover the case and try this, uh, because I know very well this country. I've traveled to uh, Kyrgyzstan many times for the last two and a half years, and uh, I really appreciate this country and its people. And when I first reached Osh, it was just one week after the event, I was really uh, stunned by what I saw. Um, it was really an impression of war. Many houses were burnt, there were some burnt cars, and even school burned. Um, there, is, there were big SOS written everywhere in streets and walls, but well, it was very uh, impressive. So in this image, uh, these people are part of a family who fled uh, the fighting in Osh. Uh, this is uh, uh, in a small village, about 10 kilometers from Osh, close to the Uzbek border. Uh, they, they went, with, they fled the, the, the city in hope of crossing the border to Uzbekistan, but unfortunately they couldn't cross, so they spent several days waiting in such houses. And uh, close to the border, there were many houses uh, where a lot of displaced people were living, especially in this house, I found 200 people, uh, 99% were women and children, 200 people who were staying in this house and uh, waiting for, for, for assistance. Also, uh, an house um, out of uh, Osh, where many, uh, many displaced women are staying, and this woman, actually in the middle, is crying. She's crying because she just uh, explained me the story of the house that was burned, and she didn't have any news of her husband, so she feared that he might be dead. And uh, uh, the other women are coming from from other other houses, but they are here for the same reason. They escaped and uh, fled the fighting violence in Osh, and uh, waiting and staying in this uh, in this house. Again, in this. Uh, in this house, uh, more than 150 people were staying there, which uh, creates, of course, a lot of trouble of, um, of hygiene and food and water for everyone. So this picture was shot on the referendum day, on the 27th of June, and it was a real moving moment for me because, uh, because of the vote, uh, many uh, people uh, went to the police station, and they at the police station they found a lot of relatives that they haven't seen for two weeks. So what struck me compared to other emergency is the cruelty of what happened there. I think now it will take time for the affected population to recover from this. In addition to the death toll and the relatives destructed, the psychological consequences are huge.